What's up, guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Beer. Guys, if you do me a big favor, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Maybe consider hitting that notification bell because you will get all the updates with all the beer reviews I do almost every single day, guys. So just consider that. Uh, today, we are looking at Percolator. This is a coffee doppelbach L from... Dark Horse Brewing Co., Marshall, Michigan, guys. So um, I don't have much from them very often. I honestly thought they were going out of business. I don't know where I heard that at some point last year or the year before, but um, maybe I was wrong, guys. Don't know what was going on. If you know something about that, uh, shoot me a comment below because I just haven't done my research. But I uh, don't have much from these guys very often. Um, very, very little, actually. So this is a winter seasonal. Again, coffee doppelbot, guys. No canned on date. Not too worried about it, but this says uh, on the back, Doppel, meaning double. This style is a bigger and stronger version of the lower gravity German style Bach beers originally made by monks in Munich. The Doppel Bach beer style is very food friendly and rich, um, reminiscent of toasted bread. We add our own twist to the additional house roasted coffee, a dark brown body of aromas of coffee, malts, caramel sweetness, ending with a bitter finish. This is coming in at 7.5% and 19 IBUs. Pairs well with winter fires, hearty stews, and the uh, hibernal solstice. So, sure. Okay, guys. Crazy looking label, honestly. Let's see if I can get that to focus real quick. Yeah, it's wild looking. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. I can never get this bad boy to focus well. But you get the picture, guys. So, uh, I'm not going to hold you up too much longer, guys. Again, we're coming out of Marshall, Michigan. And I thought that these guys weren't doing much these days, but maybe I'm mistaken. So, crazy, crazy carbonation was in this can, guys. I mean, very inflated. It went down quite a bit when I popped the tab. And let's go to a pour. Hmm. Not the... Well, that's an interesting color. Almost like a caramely brown. More caramel than any, anything, guys. Almost like an amber caramel. Honestly, yeah, yeah, there's a little red, ruby, caramel, uh, honey looking beer in the glass, guys. That's wild looking. A um, little bit dark brown, amber hue to it. Uh, light off white head, a little bit of tannish khaki in there as well. But we got a solid bubbling from top to bottom, looking at about a finger and a half, finger and a quarter's worth of head, guys. Looks pretty fantastic. I uh, just didn't anticipate that kind of amber looking beer. Yeah, and the light, that is, that is red. That is ruby and amber in the uh, light, guys. So let's go to an aroma. That's a, a biscuity, doughy malt. Fresh roasted coffee, for sure. The coffee is sticking out big time on this beer. Uh, but there is this doughy kind of sweetness that's coming off the top. Maybe a little earthy, granular kind of... Um, I don't even know. Yeah, like kind of like woodsy vibe to it as well, guys. So, yeah, let's just go to a cheers. The Percolator. I, I have never had this. Um, and let's see what it's about, guys. Honestly, no idea. Bitterness on the back end a little bit. Biscuity, caramel, honey. Doughiness, malt driven, heavy in the front, guys. Um, lots of lots of coffee though. I like the I like this coffee presence, this fresh roasted coffee, um, uh, espresso kind of note. You know, it's 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 good quality coffee. It's not a, a, a low grade coffee that you know you find on the clearance shelf. It's not going to be that. It's going to be this upper echelon kind of beer with uh, or, or coffee that is driven into this beer, guys. So I like that coffee presence. I'm a big coffee guy, big time. Heavy carbonation. Uh, a bit, it's a big mouthfeel, actually. It's upper medium um, for 7.5%, guys. It's drinking like it is a bigger beer. Uh, it's got like a stickier, kind of like oily, roasted kind of uh, mouth coating presence on your palate. It's actually quite delicious, honestly. In the, in the uh, front to back of this beer, it really uh, flows well. I feel like the, the flavors go well in this uh, Doppelbach uh, kind of coffee-driven, roasty, uh, earthy kind of woodsy thing. Not, not more woodsy. I always say woodsy, but I, I, I kind of like mix that up sometimes with like an earthy presence, and I've get, I'm getting this earthy thing in here. I like that it has this, like, again, this caramely honey sweetness on the forefront. 
um, with this big malt driven component guys it goes into like this big nice soft and smooth but rich complex uh, not chocolate but coffee it, it is coffee and a lot of like heavily roasted malts i really appreciate the the dryness and the roastiness in this beer um in the middle of the palate to the back end it really offsets that sweetness in the front uh, i think it's actually quite smooth for being seven and a half percent but it does drink like a bigger beer because of the bigger mouthfeel on this beer guys um I think it's good. I think this is very fitting for the season. I think it's a tasty alternate to what we usually drink. Um, and it's nice to get a change up. I mean, once in a while, guys, I, you don't want the same IPA over and over again. You don't want the same lager over and over again. Sometimes the bourbon barrel aged beers wear you down a little bit because they're so big and, and uh, the ABV just kills you. So um, this is a nice change up and I could see this going perfectly around a campfire, guys. It really is, and, and it's a nice uh, kind of change of pace, honestly. Maybe I just like it because the coffee's so uh, heavy in this beer. Like it is, you're still getting that fresh roasted coffee, a little bit of like espresso. You, you could say there's like a little bit of like this charred sugar kind of thing in there as well. Um, but that's more on the front, guys. Again, dark, not dark roasted, but roasted. Um, I do get the earthy, woodsy thing on the back end around the campfire. I always say that. Um, but I am getting this on the back end that's really drying this beer out nicely. Um, beautifully uh, balanced front to back, guys. So, yeah, I really like this beer, actually. And I didn't think I would for whatever reason. I didn't know much about it. But maybe it's because I'm uncomfortable with this style, guys. I don't know a lot about it. Um, but it's it's just getting it done. I've had a Doppelbach. Um, locally at like the Silver Spruce in Traverse City and they just freaking crush it guys they're really good with like German style beers and um, I, I maybe that's just a style I need to try more often and get into because I seem to like them quite often so uh, rating it's really tasty kind of could be that coffee play with me too I'm gonna go 4.2 out of 5, guys. I don't know if it's just like the season or, or the coffee that's in this, or maybe it's just the, the difference in style that I'm not used to. It's just refreshing to get something different. So for me, guys, this is going to be a 4.2 out of 5. I love the balance on this beer. I love the dryness and drinkability at 7.5%. I just think it's checking all the boxes. Um, yeah, and this one's getting it done for me. Yeah, this has been the uh, Percolator review from Dark Horse, guys. So again, not, not very Dark Horse. Um, abundant with my knowledge, but hey, not bad, Dark Horse. I like this beer. 4.2 out of 5. I'm Dan. This has been another episode of Poor Michigan Beer, guys. I appreciate you guys stopping by, and even if you don't care about me, maybe you care about the beer I'm drinking. Cheers.